All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the garage. Today we're talking about Tesla autopilot, auto steer, and uh, like adaptive cruise control. Now, the reason I brought this up is I've talked to two people recently that didn't know that their Tesla has auto steer. Auto steer is a feature where you're driving on the highway, you activate the auto steer uh, in, in conjunction with the cruise control, and it steers for you. It stays in your lane, and it makes traveling on highways so much easier, so much convenient. So I want to get in the car. I want to show you exactly the settings that you have to activate in order to take advantage of this auto steer feature. Okay, so this is a 2015 Tesla Model S P85D. Uh, my, f my dad bought this car new. He was the original owner of this. I bought it from him when he wanted to upgrade to the new 2021 Model S Plaid. And when he had this, he, he had this for five years and owned it for 55,000 miles when I bought it from him in early 2021. He didn't know that this car had auto steer. He, he used the, the cruise control, the adaptive cruise control, where it just stays in front of the car, like it, it locks onto the car in front of you and it won't, you know, it'll, it'll just adjust its speed. You don't have to, you don't have to um, manually adjust the cruise control. So he used that part. The funny thing is when he got his new Model S Plaid, he's like, oh, hey, this thing has this really cool auto steer feature where it stays in the lane. And I'm like, hey, dad, your car, your old car, the, the 2015 had that same feature and he had no clue about that. So that was an interesting scenario. And then as well as I'm going to show you also in the Model Y, the settings that you need, because a, a, a guy I talked to recently has a Model 3 and he didn't know that it has auto steer. So let me show you on the screen here. So if you go into the screen, you need to go into autopilot. Now, if your screen doesn't say autopilot, it means your car is too old to have to not have the autopilot feature. Generally, it's like uh, 2015 and newer cars are going to have autopilot. Some 2014 Model S cars have it, but if your car is a 2012 or 2013, it's not going to have any of this. So you'll just you'll just have regular cruise control if that's the case. But autopilot came out in late 2014. So go to the autopilot screen, you have to activate auto steer. So when it's blue like that, that means that auto steer is activated. Once auto steer is enabled, this stock right here, now this is on Model S and Model X up to from like, from like let's say 2015 to 20, uh, 2020, you're gonna have this kind of stock right here. This is the autopilot cruise control stock. Uh, if you turn it like this, if you can see the screen here, every time I turn this, this is going to increase or decrease the following distance for the adaptive cruise control. So one is the most aggressive, meaning it's going to stay the closest to the car in front of you. And then if you back it off to, let's say, all the way to seven, it's going to be a lot further away when it's doing the, 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 the adaptive cruise. So that's that button here. Now, to activate the cruise control and autopilot auto steer, you just double you just double click this back like this twice and it and it engages so it engages the cruise control and auto steer and so it's going to start steering for you and then one click up is going to increase the miles per hour by one mile per hour if you go up one detent up it's going to go up by fives and same thing for down one mile an hour down or five going down like that and then this the silver button here you can cancel it like that or you can push the brake and it'll cancel uh, both of those features so this stock is unique to the Model S and X. Okay, one thing unique with the Model S and X is if they have autopilot, they're going to have also, it's basically like an enhanced version. Right now you can buy enhanced autopilot from Tesla. It's like a $6,000 option. This car came with it. So that means that when you put the blinker, let's say you're cruising down the road, you're, you have autopilot, you double click this, you're, you're cruising down the road and you want to change lanes, you hit the blinker. When it's clear, this will move automatically into the lane, and then you blinker off, and it stays in that lane. So that's kind of the um, enhanced autopilot version, but it's included on the early autopilot cars. The new Model 3s, Ys, um, SX, all the newer cars, you have to upgrade to enhanced autopilot in order to get the lane change feature, which it's not, that, it's not worth $6,000 for the car to do that. But let me show you how it works in the Model Y. So this is a 2022 Tesla Model Y long range. We've had this for 10, 11 months. This is a great car. We did not choose the uh, full self-driving option. We got the base autopilot. So the base, base feature that comes with this is just a regular autopilot. We didn't upgrade to enhanced autopilot or full self-driving, but it still has the autopilot feature where it will stay in its lane and it will do the adaptive cruise control automatically. And that really is sufficient for you know just cruising on the highway and then the rest of the time, you're basically driving the car. There's no, there's no full, full self-driving unless you upgrade the software package with Tesla. 
All right, on the Model Y, the Model Y doesn't have that little stock on the si left-hand side like the Model S and X did. So this just has the two stocks. This is your gear selector. This is your autopilot selector as well. This is how you go into park. So reverses up, neutral, drive, and then there's a little, the cruise control symbols on there, and that's how you get the, to that one pushing it all the way down. And this is your blinker and windshield wiper controls here. So you have to activate auto steer Otherwise, you're just going to only have adaptive cruise control. So if we go into same thing, car button, controls, autopilot, and then see how the auto steer is activated. So if that's not activated, you're only going to have adaptive cruise control. With that activated, now it's going to stay in its own lane. But the difference with the newer cars is if you don't have enhanced autopilot, it will, when you go to change, if you have the cruise control activated, which one, once, once, when you're driving on the highway and you push this all the way down like this, that activates the cruise control only. Twice does the auto steer. So if you just do twice down, that's going to do auto steer and cruise control, which usually if we're on the freeway driving, we'll usually do both because it's just nice to help it keep it, keep it in its own lane. You're not having to like stress about staying within the lines. And then it's going to stay uh, behind the, the car in front of you very, very easily. So when, when you have the cruise control and auto steer activated with a double double push down like this when you're on the highway you have to make sure that that's activated in order for the auto steer to work but then if you want to change lanes you have to you, you know you put on your your blinker it will disengage auto steer you go into the next lane double click down again and then you you re-engage auto steer so you don't have the auto lane change feature automatically built in you have to upgrade to the uh, enhanced autopilot feature so uh, you have, I, I think that's sufficient. You don't have to upgrade to full self-driving. You don't, you don't have to have the enhanced autopilot. You don't have to pay extra for those to have a really good autopilot experience where it's staying in front of the car, be, in front of you, and it's staying in its own lane. That's really sufficient for me. I don't, I don't feel like I need to upgrade to full self-drive, a full self-driving software package in order to um, drive. I just drive this one on city streets, highways. We activate auto autopilot. So. Make sure if you're in the autopilot screen, make sure auto steer is activated and use it with the Y. It's double click here. On the S, it's a double click on the back on the stock underneath here. Guys, well, hopefully this is informational for you. Most people know about this. I wanted to pass this along because I've had a few. I've run into a few people that don't know their cars do this. That stay in the lane for them. That's an awesome feature with these cars, especially when you're driving down the highway. You don't have to worry about staying in the lane. You just keep your hand on the wheel, and it's going to steer for you. The adaptive cruise is going to stay behind the car in front of you. It just makes for a, a really stress-free driving experiences on, on the on the highway. So, if you didn't know about it, great. Leave your comments down below. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel. We'll see you in the next one.